we want to look at another concept in mathematics. We should be looking at trigonometry, but we are very familiar with that. So what we want to learn about this trigonometry is a sign rule. So we are going to look at sign rule as it concerns trigonometry. So here we have two triangles. So the first triangle is an acute triangle. So this triangle is acute triangle because it has an acute angle. Then the second triagram, the, the second triangle is an obtuse triangle. So this is an obtuse triangle because it has an obtuse angle. So these two triangles now, we see that this side with the capital letters are angles. So here is angle A, here is angle B, and here is angle C. Why the small letters represent the sides, for instance, a is a side facing angle A, B is a side facing angle B, and C is a side facing angle C. When you come to the second triangle, which is the obtuse triangle, the same thing happens. A, B, and C, these capital letters are for the angles. So A is the small letter A is a side facing angle A, small letter B is a side facing angle B, and small letter C is a side facing A angle C. So we want to now develop this formula of a sine rule. So the sine rule you have A, that is side A over sine A is equals to B over sine B and this is equals to C over sine C. So now this is what we call a sine rule. So now the question is this, when do we use the sign rule? You use sign rule when you are solving a triangle that is, that is not a right angle triangle. For instance, this is not a right angle triangle. This is not a right angle triangle. So for that now, you can solve the sides or the angle. You can solve any of them using this sign rule. Then we must also know what and what that must be given to us before we make use of this sign rule. So one, you could either be given, you can be given two angles. So one can give you two angles. So if you have two angles and a side, so you are given two angles and any side, the sign rule will work. Then alternatively, you could also have a situation where you are given two sides. So you are given two sides. Then and we will also be given the angle opposite to one of the sides. Not just any angle now, but opposite angle. So angle opposite to one of the sides. So if these two conditions, any of these two conditions are met, you can now use a sign rule. So if you are given two angles, then you are given any side, then you can find any of the remaining two sides using a sign rule. Or where you are given two angles, and you are given one side, and that is one angle that is opposite to any of that two sides, you can also use the sign rule to find the remaining sides or the remaining angles. So in the subsequent videos, now we look at examples and see how we are going to apply sine rule. In this example, we have that in triangle ABC, B is 8 meters, B, that is angle B, is 45 degrees, and angle C is 30 degrees. Find side C. We have to find side C. Now, if you look at this, you remember that we said that if we have two angles, if you have two angles and any side, then sine rule will apply. So we have, uh, we have two angles and one side. So we're going to make use of sine rule. So what do we do? Remember, we are looking for side C. So we are going to link it with its angle, which is 30 degrees. So what we are going to do is to say that this side C, that's what we are looking for, is over sine 30 degrees, is now equals to. So you see how to combine. So we are going to combine this because you have the side and the angle. So now we now have that at 8 meters. So you can write it as 8 for now, over sine 45 degrees. So this is equal. So that's what we're going to do. 
So the third one is not necessary. So you need only these two combinations. Remember that the formula is A over sine A is equals to B over sine B is equals to C over sine C. So all these are equal. So if it's possible for you to combine the first two, you combine. Or if possible for you to combine the second and the third, is okay. You can also combine this first one and the last one. So depending on the way it is, uh, it is given. So there are some combinations you can make. So now, so it mustn't be writing three of them together. So that's why we are combining these two. So that the only unknown now is this particular C. That's the only unknown we have. So based on that now, we can solve for small c. And to do that, we simply do a cross multiplication. So if you do a cross multiplication, you have that c sine 4 to 5 degrees is simply equals to x sine 30 degrees. What are we looking for? We are looking for this c. So what we are going to do is to divide by the coefficient of c, which is sine 4 to 5 degrees. So we're going to divide both sides by sine 4 to 5 degrees. So if that happens, you see that this will cancel out. This will cancel out. So we are now left now with our C, which is now equals to 8 sine 30 over sine 45 degrees. So this will become 8 sine 30. So remember that sine 30 is simply half. Then sine 45 is 1 over root 2 so this is a 1 over root 2 so we need to just solve this 8 times half is 4 over 1 over root 2 and you remember that this will be equal to 4 times root 2 over 1 so when we solve we just multiply this will simply be 4 times root 2 is 4 root 2 then you, you can punch this in your calculator depending some questions will tell you to leave your answer in short form. So if it is in short form, you can end here. Otherwise, you can get your calculator and get the square root of 2. So if you get the square root of 2, which is about 1, you can use to 4 decimal places. So this will give you 4 times. So you can use 1.4142. So you have 5.65. 6, 8. So that's what you have. Maybe we can correct to the nearest degree or we can convert it to the two decimal places. So if it is to two decimal places, that will be approximately equals to 5.66. Maybe we'll leave it in that way. So therefore now we can conclude that sign C is simply equals to 5.66 eh, in meters because the other side that is given to us is in meters. So Everything should be left in meters. So that's what we have as a final answer.